and and talking about his great career the following year we were we were able to do what some people felt was the unthinkable and being able to get to Detroit and win a championship but coach personally for you being hands on with the team seeing us from the beginning to the end at what point during the 2005 season did you feel like we were a legitimate Super Bowl contender oh, I thought we were from the very beginning and I think we went through a three-game stretch right there in the middle. If you remember those three losses, the last one being to the Cincinnati Bengals at home. I remember mm-hmm. bringing you guys in there. We still always had those goal boards. I said, you know what? I'm tired of looking goal boards. And I want each one of you guys to grade yourself based on effort, based on execution, and based on your assignment. And I remember pulling guys in like, okay, they thought they – I look at their grades. No, 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 no. We're, we're clearly not on the same page. So I want everyone to look in the mirror. Don't look around as to why we're all of a sudden we're going through this three-game uh, losing streak. And you know what? There's only one game we're going to play. We're going to have a one-game season. There's only one game that was yep. on that court, the Chicago Bears. Because we, we don't win that, we're done. Okay? The next game is Minnesota Vikings. If we don't win that game, we're done. So yep. we just kept thinking of one game at a time. And I felt like we almost had an edge to us right now. It's like because everyone kind of counted us out. Remember, we were talking about going into the playoffs. I remember telling you guys about the Christopher Columbus story. <laughs> that, mm-hmm. you know – don't let history dictate your future, but let your future make history. And, you know, it was one of those points of like saying, listen, don't let other people tell us what we can't do. Oh, no six seeds ever gone to a Super Bowl. I don't care what they say that we've never done. You know, no, we, no one's ever won their last four games to get into the playoffs. And what makes mm-hmm. you think we can't win on the road? And so with every game, as you know, I always try to make every game personal. And it was really nice that we had our first game against the Bengals with T.J. Hushmanzada. Only thing I showed you the night before the game was uh-huh. him wiping his uh, his foot with the towel. I yeah. said, I need to say no more. <laughs> Remember, right? Yeah. I said, Coach, Coach, that was one of the best. One thing I tell people all the time about BC, he's the ultimate motivator. And I think great coaches have to, have to have the ability to motivate verbally. You know what I mean? And your yes. pregame yes. speech were always on point. But that pregame speech, the night in Cincinnati, when you showed that clip of him disrespecting the terrible towel, and I think you had everyone, you had him cut the lights, and we listened to that Phil Collins. And we were just meditating in, in, in that entire room. You can just feel the intensity in that room. For me, that was the moment I felt like, yo, it's a wrap. Because it, 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 we, we knew we were the better team. We just got – we were in a slump yeah. in the season. It happens. You know what I mean? We knew we were the better team. But when you did that, Coach, that was one of the best pregame speeches I've ever, ever been a part of. And you remember the next week we went and had to go against the Indianapolis Colts who embarrassed us on Monday night football early in the season. So it was like a revenge tour. Mm-hmm. And then, and then we go to Denver and yep. to make it yep. personal, Joe, Joey says, I got shot. Denver. I go, my gosh, <laughs> there, that's all we need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was. And, and the crazy part about that first Monday night in Indy in the RCA dome. Yeah. They embarrassed us. We had a horrible game. But you stood in the locker room and you gathered the troops. You said, don't worry. We will come right back in the same locker room. In we'll be back here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back here. And, and we didn't doubt. We we all believed. And, man, that, that Super Bowl run was – that playoff run was just a thing of beauty. I was disappointed the season ended because I felt like we couldn't lose. I know. I know. I know. It, yeah. It's like it was really – even the the week of the game against Seattle, there's just a feeling we had like it was it was the same routine we were in, the same mm-hmm. build up to each week. We made it all personal, you know. Like it was like okay, take, you know, this, that's why I said we're we're road teams, man. We're road warriors right now. No yeah. one's giving us a chance, even though we might have been favored. I said no, I kept telling you we're not favored. We're the underdogs. Just remember we're that. The no one thinks we you can do that road. No question, no question. <laughs> and, and talking about the O five team, clearly was a great team. We won a championship. But was the 2005 team even the best team you coached? You know, I, I, I've I answered that, BMAC. I don't know. They were all so pretty special. 97 team, was, I, I, always, I say that only from the standpoint, that was Cordell's first year as a starter. We did some really, really special things with him. And we lost to the Denver Broncos in the AFC Championship game at home. But, you know, that was just – it just seemed like that team defensively and offensively just had a lot of things going on. It may not show up statistically. But, you know, I remember all the – 2001 was a really good team. We lost to the New England Patriots then and, um, you know, on a block field – or return uh, punt for a touchdown, a block field goal for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so, you know, again, and then, then 2004 was a really good team. I mean, and you know, Ben had that interception at the end of the first half to Rodney Harrison and – after that, we still all came back, and it was his rookie year. So, 
you know, that, you know, the four and five was like those, those teams, we kind of picked up. We had a little bit of a setback in the middle of that five, oh, 05 season, but I just felt like those two teams were very much mirror images of each other with a quarterback a little bit more experience the next year. So um, it was, uh, I, there were some really good teams. The 94 team was a good team. And 95 was, we had, I mean, I had two of the better line, outside linebackers that we had. Yeah. Kev, Kevin Green, the late Kevin Green, God bless him. And Greg Lloyd, Greg Lloyd would be out there in his T-shirt before a game and says, I wasn't hired for my dis- disposition. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when he, when he spoke in, in the locker room, it was like, yeah, I thought everybody listened to him. So it was, yeah. um, it was uh, it, you know, Rod Woodson, what a special player he has been. Like, you, know, you talk about all the players and just, just he was like a coach on the field. Carnell Lake, the same. And again, mm-hmm. you could down the line. It's just, um, I, it's hard to put a favor to anything. Like I said, my 15 years, I had some special guys. And, we go in Canada, there'll be a lot of those guys come back. It'll be, it'll be a really, okay. really nice reunion Saturday night. 